Well, so far in all the toys we've made, we've made toys for babies and toddlers. We've made toys for little girls. So today, I thought I would show you how to make a, t a toy truck for the little boy in your dollhouse. Stay tuned, and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, our first step in making our little truck is to get our materials gathered up and put together. So the bottom of the truck is a piece of eighth inch thick wood. This is basswood. It's one and three fourths inch long and three fourths of an inch wide. Um, if you can't get eighth inch, use a piece, some sixteenth inch and glue it double so that you get an eighth of an inch because you need that for stability and to make it look right. For the cab, I actually took three pieces of quarter inch by quarter inch basswood and I glued them there's one piece, I don't know if you can see or not, there's one piece here and then one on each side I glued a strip of them together longer than I need and then I cut it back to three-fourths of an inch we'll also need two pieces of I think this is probably eighth inch maybe or sixteenth inch, I'm not sure, some small dowel cut three-fourths of an inch you will need four buttons and you'll need to use half inch buttons these are just cheap shirt buttons that I got at Joanne Fabrics and these I like these because they have four holes in each one um, you'll be able to see better and the strip of six only cost me a dollar so that's not bad you'll also need some black cardstock and some of this mirror cardstock like we've used before and this area I colored with just some red nail polish we'll need that at the very end You'll also need some paint. Mostly I'm using spray paint and since my spray paint is a gloss gloss finish I don't need to finish it. If you're using an acrylic paint like one of these you'll need a clear finish of some kind that's glossy. You'll need a color for your truck and it can be any color you want. Uh, towards the end of the video I'll show you some I've made in different colors. And you'll need flat black for your axles. So let's get started gluing. This is really pretty simple. We're going to start by making sure all of the fuzziness is off of our wood. Um, always a good idea. And right now I'm just going to use my glue straight out of the bottle because I don't need to use it, I don't need precision for this. If you hear a funny noise in the background, I've got the fan on because we finally got warm weather. So I've got the fan in here on and there's papers kind of blowing around. So that was my fast scrap tacky. This is just some Zappa Gap. I'm going to put that on the bottom of my cab. I'm going to stick these together. And now it's really important you get this lined up as best as you can right at the end and as even as possible. And that needs to dry completely. When this is dry, the next step will be to paint it top and bottom with the color that you choose to use. So when this is all dry and I get it painted, I'll be back. Alright, so my paint is now dry and I painted this one blue. It's still a little tacky, but we're going to fake that. So the first thing we need to do is draw a line where we are going to place our axles. Now obviously we're not going to have real turning wheels. That's not what we're doing here. We just want it to look like it's got like it can run. And this this step, if you don't want to mess with this, you don't have to. You can skip this entirely. And once again, I'm just going to use my glue from the bottle because I don't need a precise amount here. This is not going to show much. Just some glue on the bottom. And I will be putting a little bit of Zappa Gap on my table, on my tray. Remember, use a ceramic tile. tile so that you can um, just pop it off, pop the dried glue off or paint off with a paint scraper. It works really well for that. Now, there's one side of this that didn't get painted because that was the side that was down. So, pick it up with that showing, dip that side that didn't get paint on it in the Zappa Gap. and put that there. Put 
run this through the glue through there. And now we've got two axles. Now these will need to dry before you can glue your wheels on. All right, our next step will be to put some headlights on this. For this, we are going to put a little glue out on the tray. So I've got a little glue on my tile. I'm going to grab a just a wooden toothpick I have sitting here. And we know where headlights go, right? Headlights go right here. So that. And I like to use my tweezers. Now we have, and those were just punched out of that mirror paper with just a, a standard quarter inch hole punch. I also punched out one circle out of the part I had colored with the nail polish. And for that I need to find my scissors. They were just here. Here they are. And we're going to cut this in half. So we have two half circles. And now these will be our tail lights. A little drop of glue on each side. These are kind of hard to get picked up sometimes. And I like to let this stuff all dry before I go on and do the next step. So when this is dry, I'll come back. All right, now that our other glue is dry, it's time to glue on, whoops, glue on our windshield. And basically for our windshield, we're just using some black cardstock. Kind of look like there's a darkness inside the truck. You can be a lot fancier with that if you want to be. I mean, that's up to you. How do you want your truck to look? Now it's time to put on the wheels. For the wheels, we need four of these half inch buttons. And one of the reasons I really like the four hole buttons, it's easier to center them on our truck. So for this, we're just using our glue straight out of the bottle because we aren't being real precise. A dab of glue on the truck body and also on the end of that axle, and I did not want to do that. Okay. Then, just a little tiny drop of Zappa Gap in the very center of your wheel. And don't put too much or you'll end up gluing your finger. and then kind of look from the back and make sure that that axle is lining up, I don't know if you can see it or not, with the space between the holes of your wheel or your button. And make sure that you're putting the glue on the back of your button, not the front. It's kind of important. Sometimes the glue will come through the holes in your button and try to stick to your finger. My glue is getting all over the place today. one. 
double check and now this can sit to the side and dry. Now I do have one I made the other day. Oh, one thing I forgot on this one, if you want to put a bumper on, you can either do like this. This is just a piece of eighth inch by eighth inch wood. Cut the same three-fourths of an inch wide. Painted, kind of rounded at the corners and then painted um, a chrome color. And it's glued underneath the front of the truck. It's actually glued right down here. Uh, that's optional. It's up to you. This one I made into a log truck. These are just some pieces of a dead branch from a fir tree in my yard. And let's see what kind of glue I've got. I am going to use this one. I'm going to use just some... For this, I'm going to need a really strong cement. So I'm going to use this... If you watch the, the, doll, the toy store video, this is the same cement that I used to glue the, the building to its... Uh, base. So let me get a toothpick to apply this. And what I have is I have a piece of chain. Now this was just jewelry chain that I got at, to, um, I don't know, Michaels or Joanne Fabrics or someplace, a craft store. And I painted it with flat black spray paint. You could leave it silver. You could paint it kind of a rust color, doesn't matter. We're going to take some of this goop, this household goop, and this, that's already dried up. That was, I bet that was the bit that was dried at the end. Yeah, this is better. This stuff stinks. So we're going to put a dab of that right there and a dab right there and then cap that glue after this side dries I'll come back I'm just kind of pushing the chain down into that glue and lay the chain across and then when that dries we'll come back and we'll put another dab of glue on the other side and we'll cut the chain off. So when that's dry I'll show you that and I'll show you some other variations on the truck that I've made so far. Alright I think this is probably dry enough so I see that I need to take off it there. So I'm just cutting this off so it barely meets the truck, the truck itself. You don't want a lot of chain hanging off extra. I just need to take off. No, need, need to take any off that one. So again, we'll get out some glue. Down in there where we've got really good glue. Probably wouldn't hurt to put a drop of this on the top too. Just to kind of glue this chain to the top of the log. Because we don't want it to fall off. there. So when that dries, it'll be ready to display. And like I said, I will, at the end of the video, show you in a few minutes, show you the rest of my trucks I've made. Our glue is dry on our little um, log truck here. I think he turned out pretty cute. The little boy in the dollhouse, I'm sure, will love this. I may put it out in the yard. But I made a few other trucks. I made this little green truck. It just has some little wood sides on it. I made this little tank truck. It's. And you notice I made them all different colors too. And I made this little 
truck here with a box on, and this is actually a box. I actually found a little tiny, this is the end of a box that some makeup came in. Glued the ends together and stuck it on there. And then I've got this one, it's still in works. I'm trying to figure out how to, what to put on there to make that into a cement truck. So that's just a few of the ideas. I remember when my older boys were little, they had lots of trucks like this. They played out in the yard with them, in our yard, in Grandma's yard. And there's still a lot of them over in Grandma's garage, and there's all shapes, sizes, and colors of trucks over there. So let your imagination go wild, and um, let me know how you do. If you haven't joined us on Facebook, please do, and be feel free to post some pictures of your projects you make. I'll talk to you later. Bye.